Can these food and consumer packaged goods stocks keep running? I know you, they're all household names. My answer is yes, unless we get some sort of exogenous news that drags down the entire market. Fortunately for this group, you may get a chance to buy them lower. Now, if you listen to politicians, as I do, who come on Squawk Box in the morning, you certainly believe that it might be very difficult to reach a debt ceiling deal, even as members of both parties always tell us after they attack each other not to worry. Call me worried. At least enough worry that it will come down to the 11th hour and the market will not like that kind of uncertainty. The two parties hate each other. They hate each other more than I've ever seen, frankly, which means you can expect plenty of drama. So as the debt ceiling talks flounder, I think this group, the packaged goods stocks, are the ones you want to buy. You definitely want to buy at least one of these, a cereal company, a snack company, a dog food, whatever, because they've been through this crisis before, not even that long ago, in 2011, we had a huge swoon to the market when it looked like the government would run out of money. While the Democrats in the White House ultimately cut a deal with Republicans in Congress, the S&P 500 fell 19 percent peak to trough for the compromise. And the S&P even downgraded our government's debt. Oh, that was an ugly day. If that happens again, you, you will get your chance to buy Mondelez and Colgate. Throw in Hershey and General Mills and Procter & Gamble, too. Why these? because they've proven to be remarkably inelastic. As we told investing club members this week, people always take comfort in their favorite brands. Brands like Oreos or Colgate, Hershey bars, Campbell's Soup. We learned that during the COVID era and it's continued into this uncertain time. People aren't abandoning these brands despite gigantic price hikes put through because of COVID generated shortages of all sorts of businesses. It's really pretty incredible. And it's defied many of the analysts who thought consumers would balk. They haven't, which is fabulous for the stocks because the analysts got it wrong. The pandemic wreaked havoc on the production of all sorts of packaged goods. Supply chains were ripped asunder. Materials soared in prices, especially paper and plastic for packaging. These companies all got crushed on costs, so they started putting through the price increases after price increases that you saw at the supermarket. And the amazing thing, there's been almost no resistance from the consumer. They love their brands during COVID. They trust those brands now. They're going to love them in the future, even if the prices have gone up so much. It's amazing. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.